Hello, my name is Christy Fritz. I am an independent Norwex consultant. Today, I would like to show you a little comparison. Uh, I have been working on uh, some posts for Facebook party that I'm doing. And I asked a question yesterday, if you had a minor spill, say at the kitchen table or while you're eating or maybe while you're cooking, how would you clean that up? Uh, one of the um, things that we tell people about Norwex is they are a great way to save money. And people also often look at the initial cost and they say, they're expensive, how can they save money? So today I wanna to show you one of those ways that they can save you some money and also how they're so much better for the environment. So the question that I asked yesterday was, if you had a little spill, say, you know, just some water or something simple like that in, in your kitchen or your dining room, and how would you clean it up? And the majority of people said they would either use a dishcloth or a dish towel or paper towels. So today I'm going to show you a little demonstration. This is uh, a Norwex and this is a kitchen cloth. This one says it is made with recycled materials and on the tag it says kitchen. You can see it right there it says kitchen sorry it was upside down so this is the kitchen cloth and you can see that it is a nice textured it is a microfiber um, and it has it says on here also this is very important it has the backlock technology backlock lock technology means that there is silver woven into here and that's what makes Norwex so different from other microfibers because not only is the microfiber in here smaller but the microfiber is also woven with silver which um, if you watch some of my other videos or any other videos about Norwex in general, you'll see that the silver agent in here will make it be self-purifying. The silver goes to work on any bacteria and it will um, immediately make it so that it cannot reproduce and then also so that it dies. So you just reuse water, wring it out, let it dry, there's no smell and there's no chemicals. So today's demonstration I'm going to show you and I have two cups of water here. Now I used a measuring cup so they are exactly the same. Each of these cups has exactly one quarter of a cup of water in them. So let's just take a little guess and think how many paper towels would it take if we had a dining room table we were eating and someone had this much in their glass they spilled it on the table how many paper towels would it take so think in your mind just a little guess i'm going to guess maybe um three or four paper towels now i'm using a select a size i typically buy my paper towels at sam's i don't buy very many paper towels because we use a lot of norwex you can see that the select a size that happened to be in the uh, Walmart brand or Sam's Club brand they're just a little bit bigger than my kitchen cloth so they're a very similar size not quite exact but I'm going to guess um, that it's going to take three or four of these to absorb this much water that that'll be my guess so there's one and you can see up, up, it obviously it's not picked that much water up so I'm I'm gonna add a second one in here and let's see what happens here well it's running back out and it still doesn't have it all so I'm gonna add a third paper towel remember this is just a quarter of a cup this isn't even a full glass I, I mean I literally measured this and I'm, I'm trying to make it get all of it so there's three paper towels and there's there's still some in the bottom of here so I'm, I'm gonna use one more my guess was three to four so I guess I was pretty correct on that so I've, I've got it down in here okay I'm trying to make it so that it gets it all and yeah okay there we go that was four paper towels and they are really soaked so that was four paper towels that I used there for the quarter of a cup of water now again here's my Norwex kitchen cloth so I'm going to take that and do the same exact thing. I'm going to put it down in this cup of water where there's, remember, a quarter of a cup has been measured in here. And I'm just going to pretend like I was wiping up a spill. All right. So I'll put it in there. It's still got some dry spots up on the top. So it hasn't, it's not fully full yet. All right. So it's not dripping. And... Oh, there's one drop. I'm sorry. There was one drop that came out. So this one Norwex cloth absorbed as much as 
four paper towels. And you think, oh, yeah. Okay, so that's not a big deal. Four paper towels. All right, but let's look at this graphic here. Did you know that 3,000 tons of paper towel waste are created every day? And this is in the United States. So 3,000 tons of paper towels. So we just found a way that in our one family, in our one home, in one spill, we can reduce a small amount, but we can have an impact. And here's another graphic. By reducing just one paper towel a day, we could save 571,230,000 pounds of paper towel waste in America every year. Personally, I think that's awesome. I think that's something that when, when we all look and we say, oh, we're going green and we're worried about our environment, but how can we take it and make it personal and actually do something about it? Norwex is one of those ways because we can reduce the chemicals that we're introducing to our environment and we also can reduce our waste. So happy Norwexing!